day everyone. For today's video, we'll be finding the nth term of the arithmetic sequence using the formula. This is the formula for finding the nth term of the arithmetic sequence. Where a sub n represents the nth term, n represents the number of terms, a sub 1 represents the first term, and d represents the common difference. Let us discuss the first example. Find the 15th term of the arithmetic sequence 18, 22, 26, 30, 34, and so on. First, you have to understand the problem, what is given and what is being asked. So in this example, we are going to find for the 15th term or a sub 15. The given in this example are the first term is equal to 18 and will be 15 because we're looking for the 15th term. And the common difference is 4. To get the common difference, we just have to subtract any consecutive terms of the given sequence. We can now solve for a sub 15. We use the formula for finding the nth term of the arithmetic sequence, then substitute the values from the given. Next is to simplify the equation by subtracting the numbers in the parentheses. That is, 15 minus 1 times 4 is equal to 56. And then we add 56 and 18. There we have the final answer of 74. Therefore, the 15th term of the sequence is 74. Now let's discuss the second example. In the arithmetic sequence, 8, 14, 20, 26, 32, which term is 122? Which term meaning we are going to find for the nth position of 122 in the sequence. So we have to find for n. Here are the given values. First term is 8. The common difference is 6. Just subtract any consecutive terms in the sequence. And the last term or a sub n is equal to 122. Let us solve for n. First, copy the formula in finding the nth term of an arithmetic sequence. Second is to substitute the values from the given. The next thing to do is to simplify this one by using distributive property. Distribute 6 to n minus 1. There we have the answer of 122 is equal to 8 plus 6n minus 6. Okay, no more space. So let's rewrite this. Next, we combine like terms by transposing these whole numbers to the left side of the equation. So we have 122 plus 6 minus 8 is equal to 6n. Then we simplify this one. We have 120 is equal to 6n. Lastly, divide both sides by 6 to obtain the value of n. Therefore, 122 is the 20th term of the sequence. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something.